Flying Scotsman Flying Scotsman is one of the most famous engines in the world. He's also Gordon's brother, and along with him, one of the last surviving locomotives of the LNER A3 class. He runs the express services on the mainland, running trains between London's King's Cross Station and Edinburgh Waverley because of the long distance since he has to run with limited water stops available, Flying Scotsman runs with two tenders, one of one for his coal, the other for a large supply of water. But he's not famous for being a survivor. Flying Scotsman has been in a feature film, aptly named The Flying Scotsman. He's visited the US the United States of America traveled to the Australia, and holds two world records to his credit. He was the first engine to be officially authenticated at 100 miles per hour, and then the record for the longest non-stop run by a steam engine when it ran 422 four, four miles, which is 600 79 kilograms on eight on eight Australia eight nineteen eighty nine while in Australia an engine not just built for speed but endurance running as well flying Scotsman and Gordon share a friendly rivalry with Gordon trying to live up to his brother's achievements which caused Gordon some bother at the Great Railway Show when he tried to race Flying Scotsman and the other racing engines without a safety valve. Despite being so foolish as to run away, to run anyway, Flying Scotsman felt sorry for his brother and took pride in the way the Sodor engines tried to compete vi despite various difficulties. But despite their differences, Gordon was happy to see Flying Scotsman in 1968 when he came to Sodor before he left for America. Flying Scotsman proved popular with the engines, however, did spark a little jealousy with Henry, who proved envious of his two tenders. He provided Gordon and the other reassur others reassurance at the time when steam on the island was officially being abolished in favor of modern diesel traction. Boring diesels. <clears throat> Flying Scotsman was purchased by the National Railway Museum in York in 2004 and added to the National Collection of Locomotives. After a very long overhaul, when he received a number of two uh, of new parts to ensure a long and healthy career on the main line again he returned to work servicing to work service in 2016 and has toured the UK extensively since